Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today we're going to be doing, we're going to be remaking a video that I made at the end of 2017, which was my new year writing goals for the year 2018. I was, so that's 2017. I was like 16, almost 17 this video. I'll put a little screenshot here so we can see what I looked like this time three years ago. And um, yeah, I'm remaking this video. I don't remember if this was a tag or if I took the questions from somewhere else because um, I refuse to listen to my 17 year old self again or my 16 year old self. But we're gonna remake this video. I'll put a full list of the questions in the description down below. I'll just put a link to this video in case you're interested. And we're mostly gonna see obviously what my new year writing goals are for the upcoming year 2022 and also what I've achieved from 2018. Let's begin. Question one is what were your writing achievements last year? It's frustrating having my old post my old video up for reference because it says I achieved very little back in 2017, which is still true for this year. And that my goal was to finish writing Paper Forests and that's something that I still, at time of recording, have not finished, although I'm very, like, incredibly, incredibly close to. So it's probably, it's probably been almost five years since I started writing Paper Forests and it's still not done. But other than that, I have achieved um, very little in terms of writing this year. I've been very busy with uni and um, dealing with the realisation that I am in fact disabled, which has been, it's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm saying it in a jokey tone because I'm still learning to cope with this realisation about myself. I know it's not a bad thing. I'm still adjusting to what this means for me. So I've been very busy with other things. What I've mostly done this year, I've been more focused on the self-publishing i've been like learning how i do hard about something reformatting books and manuscripts and i've been doing the very the non-writing side of self-publishing question two is tell us about your top priority writing project for this year my top priority for this year other than obviously finish and self-publish paper forests is uh, what I refer to as my soft contemporary work in progress. The soft contemporary is about a blind boy and a deaf girl. I'm not aiming to complete a full first draft, just like maybe a full outline or like some kind of bullet point ideas for the storyline. And like, I, would, I want like at least 25,000 words written, roughly. I'll be trying to balance this alongside completing my third year of uni and starting a master's degree, hopefully. So there is a chance I will end up having a script as a top priority as I want to go into film. But this work in progress has been on my mind for a while and I think it's finally time to put some words onto a page. Question number three is list five areas you'd like to work the hardest to improve this year. I don't have five areas because I know as a whole there's a lot of things I want to improve on and I am still learning to pinpoint what specific areas that I do need to work on. Because I think some things that I think I may be strong in, I may not be, and vice versa. But one big thing that I know is correct and I need to work on is the fact that I am an underwriter. So, where's my first book? Here is my debut novel. It's about 250 pages long. I've since reworked the formatting to make it um, 300 pages long. But it's still about 45,000 words. So I know that I'm an underwriter and my focus will be upping the word counts instead of changing the formatting to up the page count. <laughs> but I think the reason why I'm an underwriter is because I want every scene to be essential and I need to I need to learn how to like write valuable subplots instead of using them for just filler content. Question four is, are you participating in any writing challenges? At the moment, I don't have any solid plans to participate, mostly because I think Obviously NaNoWriMo is going to line up with me starting a master's degree and I think the April Camp NaNo will line up with me finishing my bachelor's degree. So I don't think I will have time, <laughs> but honestly I hope that I would have graduated in time for the summer NaNoWriMo, is that in July perhaps? So I might be available to take part in like a little challenge there, maybe like a little 20,000 word challenge. If drafting goes well throughout the year, I might end up either using the Camp Nano or regular Nano to work on some editing for that project. Next question is, what's your critique partner slash beta reader situation like and do you have plans to expand this year? 
I want to get deeper into the writing community more than anything. I'm someone you you can kind of see here, I have these awards here. These are because I was part of the Mervella's writing community. If you don't know, it's another kind of online, mostly fan fiction based site in the lines of Wattpad and Quotev and AO3 and one of those. It was one of those. Apart from I had a great community of friends on there and we used to like read each other's stories and leave feedback. And that I think is the closest I've come to having critique partners. And I really miss that sense of community. And it obviously came from, it wasn't searching out friends it was people who were just genuinely fans of the work so every day I do I do always think like yes maybe I should go back to those websites maybe I should get in contact with those people again because I think it's different I was gonna say I think it's different having um your fans critique rather than just trusted people because obviously a lot of fans tell you what you want to hear but sometimes you just want praise that's not what this question means at all but at the moment, I don't currently have critique partners or beta readers or beta readers because I'm still like holding this draft too tightly to my chest. It's still too close to me. And I always have this fear of I need my writer to be perfect before I post it, which is weird as someone who came from a fan fiction site who would just write chapters in a fever dream and hit publish. Next question is, do you have plans to read any writer related books this year or are there specific books you want to read for research? sure but <laughs> there's no books i particularly have in mind but if a great like writer related book comes out i will be sure to cling on to it but at the moment there's no specific things i have in mind there are some books i would like to read for research but i think that's going to be an upcoming project after the one i'm currently working on and after paper forests so that's going to be a next year's situation i want to read a lot more about local folklore and i want to do some some folklore influence things the next question is, pick one character you want to get to know better and how are you going to achieve this? I want to get to know the um, main boy for my little soft contemporary whip a lot better. And mostly because I can already feel myself building his character into like another manifest manifestation of one of my past selves. And I want to stray away from that. I want this boy to be able to stand on his own without me. So again, there's a lot of things that I have to know about his character rather than just making him another of me which i tend to do next question is tony morrison once said if there's a book that you want to read but it hasn't been written yet then you must write it what are the books that you want to see more of and what holes do you think need filling in the literary world i want more retellings but that's a more of a me thing because i know retellings are very popular right now like two rumpelstiltskin retellings that came out recently there were so many greek griff greek myth retellings all over the place so many fairy tale retellings but I specifically want Greek myths, but the more uncommon ones you haven't heard of, and I want fo folklore retellings, which is why I'm so interested in getting to learn more about local folklore, because I, I want to write a retelling. And yeah, I, I am overwhelmed with the amount of fairy tale retellings in the world, but I just want something else. Still a retelling, just not a fairy tale one. And the final question, what do you hope to have achieved by the end of 2022? The thing I want, <laughs> the thing I want most in the world is some kind of big progress done on soft contemporary work in progress, because it takes me so long. <laughs> it took maybe like three or four years to write this book, and it's taken me four or five years to write Paper Forests. So I just want to pick up the pace and have some good progress done on this book. I'd also like some kind of maybe rough bullet point outline or at least a paragraph summary of a project that I want to write after the soft contemporary, but I will end up inevitably working on it when my brain gets bored of contemporary. That upcoming book that I want to write after soft contemporary is an Icarus retelling set in a lighthouse. Maybe a gender bent Icarus, probably will be a gender bent Icarus, but set in a lighthouse and that the lighthouse part is very important to me. And also what I hope to achieve by the end of 2022, most importantly of all, is to self-publish Paper Forests. I have made good progress on that this year. In terms of the books mostly written, I've got most of the formatting for the paperback down. I've got covers designed, hardback covers designed. Hardback interior will be mostly done. I just have to do the ebook when the actual manuscript is complete. But I want that officially out in the world and out of my brain and out of my hands for anyone else to read. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. If you got to this point, please let me know. Like, if you're a writer, what do you hope to achieve by the end of 2022? If you're not a writer, please just tell me about your life goals. I, I love learning about people's life goals. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.